Thank you, Speaker. And uh, I mean, Chairperson, and uh, good uh, afternoon, honorable members. Morning. We, we perhaps as a point of departure must guarantee the people of South Africa that we know of uh, the racist idioms that have sometimes informed white supremacists to think that there is a relationship between Polish and the skin pigmentation in the history of South Africa. We're not going to accept those racist practices in these chambers where blood was spilled to confront centuries of racial exclusion and abuse against black people. This budget, uh, Chairperson, takes place within a broader context of no confidence in the police. The people of Jukule, the people of Nand, the people of Delft, live under constant fear of well-known criminal gangs, well-known individuals that are doing despicable acts of violence. And at the center of the crime-ridden society in South Africa are two important things that the APP does not address with its appropriation of about 113 billion for SEPs alone. One is the fact that your strategy is not actually committed to prevention of crime. You want to fight crime after it has happened. There is no well-articulated idea of how you're going to stop the murder rate, which is amongst the highest in the world. In the last financial year alone, about 27,500 people were killed, murdered. If you want to understand the dramatic effect of that, in Gaza, there is an ongoing genocide with military bombardment of buildings and people. In the same period, so to speak, since the, the war started, 38,000 people were casualties. 27,500 in South Africa under so-called peace conditions. In Gaza, where there is a war and genocide, 38,000. You have lost the war against crime. Of the top 30 police stations, if you look at them over the last 20 years, they repeat themselves. You know where murder is taking place. So it means you need a preventative strategy. All those police stations are known coming from only four provinces, KwaZulu Natal, Gauteng, Eastern Cape, and the Western Cape. There is no strategy here to address that. Same as rape and gender-based violence. 42,000, over 42,000 rapes in the last financial year alone. The police stations are the same. The top police stations are well-known police stations. Sishio, Umlazi, Delft. You know where these activities are taking place. They are related to shibins. They are related to places that are not safe in the streets, in the parks. Your deployment of the budget, your deployment of personnel should be preventative of these crimes. There is kidnapping on the rise. Even members of parliament in this chamber these days get kidnapped. Gangs and drugs, all the drug laws or the drug dealers are known. Only the police claim ignorance. We know the houses in Orange Farm. We know the houses in Kailisha that are selling Nyaupe. Only the police don't know. Only the police claim ignorance. The gang stars are embedded with the police. In fact, some of the drugs in our country are transported with police vans because police vans don't get to be searched. And that's another key problem of the failure of crime in this country is the embeddedness of the police service. There is no strategy in here to disarticulate police up to the top generals that are working with criminals, that are, that are working with drug laws, that are on the payrolls of drug laws. Crime intelligence in your budget account for about 4%. You know why? Because you're not planning to prevent crime. There should be an increase in relation to the crime, budget, crime intelligence budget because you need to produce intelligence product, predict crime, and be able to combat it, including GBV. You must have informants within families. You must put them on the payroll who are going to report on the uncles, the fathers that are raping children and women that are beating women inside households. There are a lot of feared and known families in this country. Police fear them. Politicians don't talk about them. They are known, and some of them run assassination networks. A criminal can leave a maximum security prison in South Africa, go kill somebody, be paid, and go back to prison. There is no strategy in this APP to speak to that. The embeddedness 
of the Correctional Service, the SAPS, crime intelligence in the criminal activities in this country. The reason why we've got the dramatic levels of crime is because the police themselves are part of the criminals. In Johannesburg, we are in control of GMPD. The SEPs don't support the work of GMPD. If you get a person now with drugs, you hand them over to those dilapidated police stations of yours. You meet them on the other street, the same people. When you go ask them, we've just handed you criminals with drugs on their hands, you find that now it's baking powder. Because the police stations of South Africa under your watch are embedded in criminal activities. We can't support this budget. You have failed. And you are still going to fail because you are not planning to prevent crime, number one. Number two, the entire police force needs to be disarticulated from being embedded with criminals. We can't support this budget and we call on our people to reject it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Mayor.